Ow. Jeez. He cut me open with his uh, fins. Ah, that got deep. That he got me. little pond this morning this is only my third time being out here Texas rig uh, Cinco we've got the green pumpkin large red flake we had a little bit of a cold snap come through last night so the weather feels pretty good this morning should get these fish biting There's a big blow up over there. I'm just gonna walk around this bank and hopefully catch a few. Got a fish on. There we go. He's trying to go down in the grass. Come on. There he is. Little bass. Oh, there's a lot of grass in here. Ooh, he's not bad. Look at that. There we go. Oh, he's mean. Set that down. Looky there. That's the first bass of the morning right there. bad not bad I'm gonna toss him back out there there he goes all right that was fish number one Gary Yamamoto Nice peaceful morning out here. Significantly cooler weather than it's been. Just like that. Beautiful. All right, let's keep fishing it. Let's get it out there a little bit deeper. Like I said, this is only my third time fishing this reservoir here caught a handful of bass out of it. That was my biggest, that one right there for sure so far out here. It's not very big as you can see, just a standard, standard little pond. But there's a lot of grass though in here. When I came out here the first time I ever came out here, I think it was back like in April, May, this was all pretty much water coming all the way up here. 
which dropped a whole bunch. Then I came out here a few weeks ago. Oh, there was something right there. Didn't hit it. Came out here a few weeks ago and caught a handful of bass. So I was like, I need to come back out here on a good morning and see what all we can't do. Got one on there. Oh. I had one taking it. A snake. Y'all see that? Is it dead? Look at that. Let me get a. Uh... Oh, it's dead. There's a dead snake right. I don't know if y'all can see that. Right in there. Oh, my lures. There's a dead snake over there. All right, so I'm back out here at this little pond that I came to this morning. Caught a decent bass, missed a few, ended up snapping my rod because of all the grass trying to pull a fish through. It was only on a medium light. So I came back out here with this medium heavy and some braid. Gonna see if we can't make this right. Beautiful evening. Not too hot. I'm using a uh, pumpkin red flake Texas rig Cinco, just like I was using this morning. It's a little mushy down here. Get it out there. <clears throat> oh, got him. Yeah. There we go. Small guy. It's the first one of the evening. A lot smaller than the one I caught this morning, but hey. Bass is a bass, right? Put him back in there. He hit that as soon as that thing hit hit the water. You don't need a new Cinco. Like I said, black and blue, yellow moto here. And I've actually, yeah, like I haven't fished this side of this pond. I've only stayed on that side over there. And like I said, this is, I guess this morning was my third time coming out here. This is my fourth time. So fish in here. The one I caught this morning was probably one and a half to two, somewhere in there. Just like that. Let's bury that hook. Okay. Let's keep it rolling. You go through these Gary Almotos so fast. <clears throat> right there. Last minute. Nice. Aggressive. There we go. Nice little largemouth. That guy there. 
Yeah. I was I was actually bringing that one back in and he hit that one. Biggest of the evening right there. Ow. Jeez. He cut me open with his uh, fins. Ah, that got deep. Ah. Look at that, he got me. Pause this. So we're back out here at this little pond, and we're gonna see if we can't continue to catch some fish out here. So I came out here Saturday morning, had some luck, but ended up snapping a rod. Came back out Saturday night, Saturday evening. Ended up uh, catching a few, but then had a bass fin me, and I'm pretty sure it went through the fat of the pinky right there. So I have it wrapped up here just so Nothing touches it or anything like that, but we're back out here today and the weather's been a little bit cooler the past few days. We've been had a little bit of rain, but y'all can get a view out here. This beautiful little pond that we're getting ready to walk. And we're gonna start off with the good old Gary Yamamoto Green Pumpkin Red. And I also brought black with blue, uh, blue flake as well, so. And then a few spare hooks. We're traveling light. And I think I'm gonna come down here, start down here and work my way all through here. So after fishing this pond, you know, a handful of times, it's got some, some okay fish in it. Um, you know, definitely a fun little pond. It's not very far from me at all. So it's quick, easy. Can get some fishing in. Especially with now that the weather's been a lot better and a lot more in our favor. It's been a lot cooler and stuff like that. So makes it a lot more manageable to fish. Yeah, we're gonna come all the way down here, fish this little open pocket, and we're just gonna work our way back. So I got the uh, Shimano Cronarch here, and we're on the Dobbins uh, Caden series. This is a 7.3 medium heavy. I think I'm on 30 pound braid and then a Texas rig Cinco. Perfect. Hit right there. There we go. The small guy. Just trying to go down that stuff. He hit that as soon as I hit the water. flop there we go looky there first one of the evening nice little bass yeah let's get them back out there I gotta kind of throw them far just to make sure they get in the water because it's pretty shallow there but they'll be okay Hide that hook a little bit, just like that. Let's keep it rolling. Okay. Yeah, that last fish, you hit that there. Right there, another one. He's real small, look at that. Back to back. Small little guy, but he will work. Man, he chomped that thing. There we go. Look at that guy. Number two on the evening right there. Yeah, let's get him back in. 
And that was the end of my uh, Cinco there. Sometimes a change in weather, because it's just been, it's not like they won't bite when it's that hot, but they're a lot more sluggish and you gotta wait till like very late in the evening or early morning when it is a little bit cooler. So I was hoping with this colder, cool snap and rain, it might've got them going. And it looks like it might've done just that. All right. There seems to be a few of them over here. Let's get it back in there. And see, I'm just getting this thing right out there in the middle of that, uh, in that open water out there in between the algae lines. The bass are sitting on those edges. Let it sink. A few pops. And once I get up to that algae line, I go ahead and reel it in. Having some slow luck now. We got two pretty quick off the rip and then had a few bites here and there but I haven't been able to get anything since. So. I think I'm gonna walk around the other side and do a little bit over there too. Yeah. a decent size little pond nothing crazy but I wouldn't say it's necessarily small either jump there. There's a lot of fish jumping out here. Come on, bass. Let's try going back up in here. All right, I think that's about it for tonight, guys.